At this point, uh, it's our pleasure to offer the chance to make public comments to anyone wishing to address the board on any topic. If you'll come to the microphone, we'll be happy to listen. <clears throat> Good evening, Madam Chair, as well as the Board of Commissioners. Uh, my name is Sever Mangold, reside at 3473 Fallen Oak Drive at Buford, Georgia. And I am here once again, uh, the second time we're going to keep going, uh, to speak about the issue of marijuana and we're going to reduce the fines and penalties. That is, of course, our goal in Quinnette. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and start with what I, uh, who I represent. I represent the Students for Sensible Drug Policy at the University of North Georgia. I did not go into a background last time, but I'd like to mention that we worked on a bill, uh, House Bill 965 and House Bill 966 in the Georgia legislature, which is titled Medical Amnesty. Um, we were influential in that. We actually lobbied in the Georgia Congress. Uh, we went ahead. That bill allows for people who are overdosing or calling for an overdose to not be prosecuted and not be charged with possession or uh, intent or whatever they may be in possession of. Um, so that's, that's kind of what we're working for or working towards uh i uh, our club is based in harm reduction and uh, we want to focus also on getting the word out on the war on drugs and how it's complete and utter failure um, and as a waste of police resources um, this of course includes the harms of marijuana prohibition as i'm about to illustrate uh, i'd like to begin with a story a friend of mine was arrested uh, or not he was arrested and charged with possession of 14 grams of marijuana uh, as he was pulled over for a broken taillight. Uh, he has no idea or was unaware of his rights. He can't afford a lawyer. Uh, all he can afford is a public defender, which is not very much, uh, especially where he lives. And uh, he was a student. Uh, he's going to probably lose his financial aid. He's being charged with two years of probation for being in possession of 14 grams, which is uh, absolutely mind-boggling to me. Now, does Gwinnett County have a problem? I actually have contacted the Gwinnett County Police about this issue. I also have filed an open records request to find out the statistics in Gwinnett County. Uh, that's, that's where I reside, obviously. Uh, the chief of staff from the chief of police has emailed me a statistic saying that in 2015 we had 1,214 marijuana-related uh, arrests slash warrants. And to me, that's, that's insane if you think about that. It's a little more than three a day. Three incidents a day in a year just about marijuana weather. Um, obviously not all of those will be for possession, which is what we're trying to work for. Uh, I'd like to end with this is an issue that affects us all. We're all taxpayers. We pay for the jails to be built. Uh, we just saw Obama is not going to fund private prisons, which is a good step, obviously. We also are the ones that pay to feed the prisoners uh, from the pod. We also pay a police force to arrest people for a plant, which is ridiculous, once again. And the answer is that we, ha we all have the power to change it. We all pay taxes. We're all here, obviously. We're all listening to each other. I think this is a fantastic event, fantastic thing. And I encourage the commission to look into adopting an ordinance similar to the one in Clarkston, uh, which institutes a $75 fine uh, for simple possession of marijuana to an ounce. Uh, I would also mention that there are counties in our neighboring state of Florida uh, we've got Miami-Dade County, we've got Volusia County, Broward County, Palm Beach County, which have all done a similar thing to what is Clarkson's done, except on the county level. So I don't see an issue with this ever being a possibility in Gwinnett County. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. 